היי גייז. אין גאלס. So here's another overview of the new additions to the VCV Rack library. If you enjoy my work, if you enjoy this series, consider joining me on Patreon. It's much appreciated. And already we start with a new module from the Skitam or Skitam collection. We have here the Waveguide Delay, which is a delay module dedicated for waveguide synthesis and carpless strong. Um, I have here a small patch ready, the basic sequencer from Count Modulize, sequencing Basil from Vult, going through the um, lovely VCA from ZZC. And I have here, this is going to the delay, let's have a listen. A few interesting things about, the, about this uh, delay. Uh, it has also a feedback loop, so here you can see the output is going once to the mixer and once to uh, ripples, to the liquid filter from audible instruments and back to the feedback input. And here I have a feedback amount, so you can uh, use this to create feedback loops um, for this delay, which is quite cool. It has also another output, the pickup output, and you can change the position of this uh, uh, pickup signal with this knob here and also modulate it and create weird effects. And here I'm all, uh, you can also hear it, I'm modulating like this. I'm also modulating the delay time with an LFO. So you can create really nice effects with this delay and again use it for waveguide or carpless strong synthesis. And here we have a new module from Admiral. Um, we have Divisions, which is a really interesting uh, sort of a clock divider. Here I'm using the clock from JW. And we have also two external inputs, so you can use other clock uh, signals or triggers from other sequencers if you want. We have four dividers. Here I have them set to different divisions. And you have sort of uh, uh, sorts of buses. So you have two buses that you can route those dividers or divisions into three um, or out of three outputs. So here you can see I have um, one, two and four going to the first bus. I have here three and four going to the second bus and I have all of them going to the third bus because I have them both activated. It has also a gate length um, control, which is also quite cool. So here I have three different voices with some sample and hold modulating those voices. So this is the first rhythm we get. And again, I'm just using the clock and this is dividing the clock in uh, different ways. It sorts, uh, it reminds me a bit of the um, sequencer part of the subharmonicon, so you can divide the clock and mix those divisions. Here we have another voice with a different rhythm. And here I have another one. So you can really create interesting rhythms. Of course, you can also modulate this or change the divisions. You can, with the mouse, change this on the fly. And again, you have the external inputs, which are also quite interesting. Okay, and here we have a few new additions in the Nischi collection, really interesting modules. We have the TZ operator, the TZ envelope, and we have also Ambience, which is a nice reverb module. So the TZ operators and the envelope, actually, they are all um, acting as expanders. So you don't have to make the connections between them. As you can see, I will zoom in a bit. We can see the first one is a carrier. Um, so this is an FM operator voice, of course. Um, so this is a carrier. Um, I have here also a modulator, which is just on its right. I have it, it's not connected in any way, it's just as an expander. And I have here another operator, which is again the modulator for the second operator. Um, yeah, so you just have to put them next to each other and you have a whole FM voice. It has everything you need, octave control, um, ratio, feedback. 
Um, lots of other interesting features and also the TZ envelope is also an expander you can see it's not connected to the first TZ operator here um, but it is controlling its uh, level its amplitude so it's also a really nice addition you just put them together and you have a whole FM voice so I have here a three operator FM voice going to ambience again a lovely reverb uh, module I have here two um, sequencers one is um, sequencing pitch and three more are sequencing the mod index or the modulation amount and the feedback amount on the third operator here. So let's have a listen to this. Oh yeah. And I can play with the... This is without the reverb. interesting reverb everything is modulatable <laughs> and you can also freeze it that's also quite cool really nice so new modules from the Nischi collection Okay, so here we have a new module from a mind meld. Actually, two modules. We have the Bass Master and Bass Master Junior, which are almost the same, just the Bass Master Junior here. You can see it doesn't have the VU meter and the gain control and the mix. Other than this, they are the same. And with it, you can control um, the width of the lows and the high uh, highs frequencies <laughs> in your mix so here i have the main mix i have the two voices the main mix is going to plateau from plateau to the bass master and from there to the main mixer let's have a listen to this so what i have here i have a sort of a bass with the even vco and i have a sort of an fm voice the FM operator all of this is going again to bass master through some delay and reverb now what we can do let's say for example I want to solo only the low frequencies let's zoom in a bit so now we listen only to everything below 120 Hertz of course we can change this so here we have everything below 50 Hertz change the crossover point let's say 344 let's go back to about 150 Hertz now we can solo just the highs so those are just the high frequencies what we can do we can change the gain we can change their width now it's totally mono now it's super spread we can do the same to the low frequencies so I can take the low frequencies everything below 150 Hertz and just mono mono it we can also bypass this and uh, see that uh, or hear the changes this is before and after again we can change the gain Here in this, in the case of the Bassmaster, not in the Bassmaster Junior, we can also modulate the highs and the lows, the width of the highs and the lows. So you can really get creative with this, and it's a great also mixing tool, so you can mono your basses, but you can also get really creative with this, modulate the width, create really nice effects you can use this not just for the master track you can use this for individual voices which is quite quite interesting okay so this was the bass master okay and here we have a really fun module from Auenberg um, it's a metronome actually so as you can see if I zoom in a bit you can see we have Largo, Largretto, Adagio, Andante, Moderato, 
and so on. Uh, impulse out is the voice, is the audio. And let's start it. And I can change, let's say I want to create or compose a piece in uh, Allegro. So I have the metronome for this. Of course, I can also start and stop it with other controls. Go slower, faster, two times faster, three times faster. I can reset the BPM and here I can choose to which BPM, to what BPM it will be reset to. But of course, it's another voice that we can use. So here, for example, I have uh, the chrono blob. If I send this, this is just an impulse out. Send this to excite chrono blob. We can get some fun things. I'm modulating also chrono blob. I can also start <laughs> triggering everything randomly with sample and hold. So again, you can get also creative with this, or you can use it as a metronome, which is also quite cool. And as your clock, even. Okay, here we have a few new modules from the Studio 6 Plus One collection. We have the Tyrant Expander. So Tyrant is a shift register with probability settings. Really interesting module. I will put a link in the description to a video I made all about it. So now we have the Tyrant Expander. Um, that you can get the triggers according to the probability settings. So the trigger probability, the shuffle probability, the different offsets, and you can use it in your patch. And um, here I'm using it to trigger a sample and hold. So I get um, notes only with the triggers. And in my case, it's Walenda is the voice and the grid sequencer is the main sequencer that is going first through Tyrant and I have five channels. So five bit shift register sort of. And um, so this is my voice. Let's have a listen. Now, uh, Walenda is going through um, Lala, which is a crossover filter. I can set a frequency. Um, the crossover frequency in my case now it's about 200 Hertz and then you get the high signals which is everything above this and low which is everything below this and you can process them differently so the highs are going through plateau only the high frequencies the low frequencies are going through the briatus and chrono blob so I can change or modulate the crossover point There's a new module also, another new module, um, which is a Unity Mixer that you can also invert the mixed signal and also modulate it, which is also really interesting. And there is also Zezel, which is a sort of an automation modulation module that you can use uh, to add movement in your patches. And um, so you can use it with your MIDI devices. In my case, I'm using it with manual from Bog Audio to trigger it. And you can also assign it to any parameter in VCV. You don't have to use the CV output. You can assign it directly to any parameter. And you have all sorts of shapes. So if I trigger it once, first of all, I can set the start value negative 10 to positive 10, let's say. I can trigger it once, it will go up. And then I trigger it again, it will go down. Let's change the values a bit. I can change the shape to something more interesting. Something like this. So you can create automation. In the right click menu, you can choose also um, the duration multiplier. So if I choose 10, for example, it will be much slower. And I can change this also here. So you can create and add really interesting modulation to your patches. And of course, you can sync it also with the clock. So it can also be a, a sync modulation and you can also change it to cycle. So as you can see, you have sort of an LFO with an interesting shape and you can modulate the shape, change it. Which is also really interesting. So Studio 6 plus 1. 
Okay, and we have a new module in the Modular Fungi Collection, <laughs> which is quite cool. We have lights off. It's this one, this one HP module here. In the right click menu, you can see the hotkey. It's actually Control, Alt and X, or Control, Option and X on the Mac and not Command. This will be fixed soon, I hope. And also maybe um, there will be added also um, a sort of a, a button or something that you can do this without the hotkey. But what you can do, you can activate it. And then as you can see, the lights go off. You have here a light so you can still find it and you can change how much you want that the lights will be dimmed. So you can dim the lights and everything that is a light in VCV, like the connections, the CV connections, everything is still on so you can still see it. It's quite cool, it's quite atmospheric. Here I have a small patch ready, um, it sounds like this. And what we can do, we can use 8-Face from Sturmelder, which by the way also helped me with this module, so thank you so much. Um, so yeah, we can use this to modulate or automate um, the dimming of the light. So I have here a few sets, a few say, presets or snapshots saved. And I have here also LEDs, which is also quite cool to use to use with the module. So you can see we can automate. <laughs> and it's quite funny and it's quite fun. So again, modular fun guy. Okay, and here is a new small collection from SV Modular. We have a VCO, VCA, attenuators, EQ, panning, and also a clock. This is actually the time that I'm recording this. And this is how long it took me to um, get this take. <laughs> I have here a small patch ready. And the grid sequencer just um, sequencing the VCO. There is a VCA, it's also being panned left and right. A nice little collection of modules. So yeah, a new small collection from SV Modular. Okay, so the non-linear instruments modules are back in VCV Rack. And um, we have those quite large modules here. <laughs> Um, I still need to dig deeper into those, but there's a whole manual about them if you're interested. But here there are two modules that are quite interesting. There is the um, chaotic oscillator, um, which is quite interesting. And also this ballistic envelope, um, sort of a dropping ball envelope um, or a spinning coin or whatever. You have the gravity control and you have the impulses. Let's listen to this once. So you can see it's quite interesting and you can change how it behaves. Man, this is nice. <laughs> change the angle. the gravity can make it really short or really long oh man this is interesting you can use this of course for other modulation types not just only amplitude yes yeah, so really interesting modules the non-linear instruments is back Okay, and here we have a new expander in the Vox Glitch collection. We have an expander for the Grain Engine Mark II. As you can see, the Grain Engine doesn't have any inputs, so you can use only recorded samples. But with this expander, you can record in VCV Rack samples for the Grain Engine. I have here a small sequence going with the grid sequencer, sequencing the wave oscillator. It sounds like this. I can play. A bit with the sound and um, now this expander will work on the left of the main module so as you can see here now the light is off if i put it close to the main module the light is on it means that it's connected internally and i have the oscillator going also to the inputs now i can start recording a sample 
and when I stop, now it's saved in the green engine mark 2, so now let's change the audio to come from the green engine. So now we can granulize this sequence. So again, this expander can help you um, just record sounds within VCVREC without using any samples. Okay, and here we have a new module in the Nano Collection. We have Ona, uh, which is a really interesting oscillator. Um, again, the Nano Collection is available as hardware and uh, also recently was added into VCVREC. Ona as hardware is still not released, but you can try it um, in VCVREC already. It's a really interesting oscillator with different wave shapes. So here, for example, I have Detroit and um, sequencing one Ona, and I have two different waveforms. One is a sort of, a, a, not a sort of, but it is sawtooth, and one is one octave below this. Um, I'm mixing this um, with the nano mixer. This is going through the nano filter, which is amazing font. And I'm also using another Ona as an LFO. If I zoom in a bit, you can see we can change this into an LFO also. And also here I'm mixing a few waves. Um, and this is modulating the filter. So let's have a listen to this. Sounds really nice. We have also another sub-oscillator output. Yeah, so really nice, so you can check it already out um, in VCVREC and it will be available soon also as hardware. And here we have a new module in the frequency domain collection. We have grains of wrath, <laughs> which is a granular processor and you can load up to 16 different samples. It has also a live inputs also with 16 different, it's polyphonic, so you have 16 different inputs you can use. Here I have a sample loader that it will also be available with all the patches in the description. And um, it sounds like this. I'm modulating the panning, the grain size, the speed. And you can imagine with 16 different samples you can create really interesting textures. Oh yes. Okay, really nice. So grains of wrath. Okay, and here we have a new developer, the Oxid Lab collection with Entferner, a collection of filters. We have Entferner LE, which is available for free, a low, uh, low pass filter. And we have three commercial filters, stereo commercial filters. Um, we have low pass, high pass, and band pass. Um, I made a video all about them. I will put a link in the description to this video. Um, I have here Ona, again Ona from Nano, going through the low pass filter. I'm mixing a few waveforms. I have different, so two different oscillators in the two different inputs. So I'm uh, using this in stereo. This is the low pass filter. Oh yeah. It has different slopes that you can choose from. It has also color control for the resonance. So you can change the sound of the resonance. It has also internal modulation, so it will sum the signals and send them internally to modulate the cutoff or the drive or the resonance. And you can use this as before the filter or after the filter. So let's use this after the filter in post. Oh yeah. Oh, listen to this. Oh. 
And again, you have also high pass and band pass, um, Oxid Lab, go check it out. Okay, and here we have another new developer, the Cautenia DSP with the Rack NES on Nintendo um, system <laughs> that you can load. Actually, you can load games into it. Uh, Nintendo games. Um, I have here the Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Uh, it will be also available in the link in the description with all the patches and samples and whatnot. And it's quite cool. So you have two players. You can actually connect your MIDI devices, computer keyboard, and just play this. So let's select, for example, one player, start. <laughs> this is amazing. You can just play. I can go to the left. I can go to the right. I can jump somehow. How can I jump? Ah, here with B and A, which is quite cool. And the best here that you have also the audio. Oh, yeah. So you have also the audio. And now, of course, you can process this. So here I have, for example, some reverb. Let's listen to this. You can process everything in VCV. I have here four months, which is a four month filter. change the clock and if you also a comparator that I can also destroy this sound let's just make this a bit lower first oh yeah and I don't know let's try and play a bit oh yeah <laughs> this is with the mouse this is with the mouse Hey, my mushroom! Oh yeah! Okay, now I, this is a tough one. Okay, this I cannot do. I have too many mushrooms. Sorry. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, you can play and you can process the sounds. Okay, and that was it. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy my work, if you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell and have a good one.